Mike, you want to talk about virtual meetings? Sure. Uh, see, so that the, the team's application we use constantly throughout our organization. Um, additionally, you can invite folks from outside of your organization uh, and admit them into, uh, into individual uh, chats or meetings as long as they have, uh, they get into the web browser version on the other end. So uh, teams can be very, um, is, is part of your Office 365, if you had that, can be very useful for all that. Um, something that obviously becomes very important uh, in, in a time like this when we can't be as um, close to everybody that we would like to is having the ability to see them and that's where the webcam capability comes in with all of these tools. Um, unfortunately, based upon some of the shortages that Bob talked about, buying a webcam today is a little bit of a challenge. Who would have thought those would be at a premium? Uh, however, most laptops come with one built in at this point. Um, so if you do have uh, some sort of a laptop, you, it doesn't take much of a requirement on that machine to be able to run these tools and uh, be able to share your, your beautiful face with everyone around you. Um, uh, interesting side note, we've, um, we talk a lot about the phrase was social distancing and in, in our organization we've started talking about physical distancing as opposed to social distancing and since we have to be physically distanced doesn't mean we have to uh, break off socially from everybody else. Um, and so using your webcam while doing one of these virtual meetings and just sharing a little of yourself with everybody else can help to keep you connected. There are things in your environment that you want to make sure you're you're taking care of uh, based upon the deplorable uh, behavior of some of the folks out there who are taking advantage of the fact that we're all trying to stay connected with virtual meetings. Um, you may have may or may not have read some of the um, some of the articles regarding Zoom meetings that have been broken in on and school classroom things, uh, there are some things you can do to protect yourself. It will require some of the more premium versions of those virtual meeting softwares, but um, by including passwords on your virtual meetings, uh, that can help protect uh, from people just jumping in, uh, using a waiting room in your virtual meetings so that everybody has to be admitted versus people being able to jump in to the meeting uh, potentially quietly without you recognizing that they're there. Um, note there, there are options sometimes for enabling notifications when attendees join, so playing a tone so they can't just sneak in. Um, uh, and something that uh, sim seems simple, uh, but um, you know, virtual meeting is fantastic and video conferencing is fantastic when you want to. However, when you don't want to, just putting something as simple as a webcam cover on uh, over your webcam on your laptop can give you a little bit of additional privacy in the event that um, you, you wind up joining a meeting and not realizing that your video was on and you didn't know it was going to be on. Um, and, you know, uh, forbid anybody uh, here experiences what poor Jennifer did. Um, in, if you haven't seen that, uh, go onto YouTube and look for poor Jennifer. Um, it was an awful experience for somebody on a large Zoom meeting. 